student today i'm going to take the input output interface in computer architecture um, so what is a input output interface um, uh, there will be a communication between the input output devices and the cpu the what is input output devices uh, the keyboard is a kind of input device the printer is a kind of output devices the monitor is a output device so these uh, devices are generally called as a peripheral devices so these peripheral devices uh, um, oper uh, operating mode speed uh, and the data transfer everything is uh, totally different from um, uh, cpu because uh, the cpu is a uh, cpu and memory both are belongs to the electronic devices so its speed is a uh, very high uh, operating mode um, uh, data uh, uh, signals and everything is a uh, different from the peripheral device peripheral devices are electromechanical uh, devices so the that's why uh, if you operate both the devices um, uh, cpu memory and uh, the peripheral devices we need uh, the input out output interface or otherwise it's called as a modulator uh, connect both the devices or communicate with the uh, if the cpu uh, the if the processor uh, and the um, uh, input output uh, interface should, uh, should connect uh, the input output interface then only it will communicate easily okay so here the uh, input output bus is a kind of bus uh, bus is a it's a route or path between the peripheral devices and the computer processor so this is the uh, a circuit uh, of the input output interface here um, uh, this is called as a peripheral devices peripheral device means keyboard printer uh, these are the devices or input output devices okay so these device want to communicate uh, with the processor uh, this is the interface uh, there will be a one interface for one uh, specific devices okay here there are three different type of uh, lines are exist data line address line and control line there are three line available in the uh, in, uh, input output uh, buses okay so uh, the in interface connect with the peripheral devices the, uh, the another one side is a processor is available so now both are communicate with each other uh, through the interfaces okay then uh, so uh, each uh, peripheral uh, here uh, each peripheral unit has a interface unit associated with it already i told you so the interface unit uh, this is a interface unit each peripheral device consists of a one interface uh, unit okay so the uh, this interface unit uh, uh, address received from the input output uh, devices okay uh, then uh, here uh, it describe the address and the control received from the peripheral and the support signal for the peripheral controller so um, so the input output interfaces get the address uh, and the controls received from the peripherals uh, peripheral uh, give the address and control um, so support signal for the peripheral controller it's also conduct transfer of information between peripheral and the processor so the interface is a uh, modulator or um, intermediator between the peripheral devices and the processor uh, and also it integrate the data flow between the peripheral devices under the processor okay so the input output bus is linked to all peripheral interface from the processor uh, the processor is a com communicate with the input output all the input output device here th these are the different type of input output device which are connected uh, to the processor uh, through the interfaces so um, then each peripheral devices uh, uh, give the addresses uh, to the um, interface the interface uh, get the address from the peripheral device and it give the address line whether the address is uh, right or wrong check that if the address is correct then uh, it decode the address line decode the address and uh, um, if it is correct mean it will connect the process suppose if it is not exist in the uh, address uh, address then it will reject it so this is the um, uh, how uh, the peripheral devices and the processor are linked with each other okay so uh, the address line check whether it is a right address or not okay then 
so already the, this is i explained control uh, a command control is given to activate peripheral and to inform next task so the ca command control is used uh, used to uh, activate the peripheral and inform the next ta uh, task uh, so uh, after uh, adding the um, processor and the uh, peripheral devices uh, the ca control command uh, command it um, command to the peripheral device uh, do the next top uh, next task okay the control command depends on the peripheral each peripheral receive its sequence of control command um, and depending on its mode of operation that means uh, so the peripheral devices give the um, sequence of control command okay status uh, finally status means status command is test multiple test condition in the interface and the peripheral okay then data output so the data output command create the interface counter to the command by sending data from the bus uh, to one of its register uh, the data input command is opposite to the data output command okay so dear student today uh, i take the input output interface if you have any kind of doubt please kindly uh, give the doubt in comment section i will give uh, the clear explanation about your doubt Thank you student.